Hi, how are ya? You ever wonder what your brain is doing while trading? No? Well, you should watch this anyways. I bet you'll be pretty surprised at some of this stuff. Alright. You've heard of dopamine. It's a buzzword. It's overused. Your friend thinks they're being clever when they say it instead of happiness. And it's a neurotransmitter in our brain. We have many different kinds of neurotransmitters, and they all cause different things. But, for now, we don't care about those other ones. When we do anything that's considered rewarding, like eating food, taking drugs, or making a good trade, our brain's reward system activates. And guess what? It also happens when the reward is uncertain. Sounds a lot like trading to me. I realize that this machine here is for balancing, but just pretend that the balance represents an event, and one of the two possibilities is going to happen at any moment, so the picture represents how reality is going to point to one of two binary events at any moment. The analogy doesn't really make sense, and a different drawing would have been better, but I already drew it, and I like it, so it's staying. Even crazier is that the release of dopamine actually happens before the reward. You would think that the reward would be the part where we are filled with happy juice, but the happy juice actually shows up before it happens. When someone who is struggling with an addiction goes to take that drug, the area of their brain that is lighting up is the exact same area that lights up when we take a trade. Now here's the worst part. For many people, not all, but many, when we lose on a trade, our brain still releases dopamine. Not as much as winning, but still. That's messed up. That's like getting a trophy for losing. The result of this is that it gives us the urge to keep trading. Our brain chemistry is our enemy when we lose, and this is part of why revenge trading is such a problem for some people. I know it looks like he's flipping off the brain, but it's supposed to be him shaking his finger while yelling at it for misbehaving. Your brain is encouraging you to revenge trade, but through time and exposure, we can cognitively overcome that urge. You don't act out every urge you get, and wanting to take a trade is just another urge, so you can overcome it if you stay disciplined. Of course, that's assuming you don't have the impulses of a nine-year-old. Did you know that in electronic gambling machines, they take advantage of this and trick your brain into using them more? They set up games so that when you lose, it looks like you're going to win, and then it barely switches to something incorrect, which results in a loss. This tricks your brain into responding as if you won, which makes you want to play more. This drawing is supposed to show a wheel, and the pointy thingy is about to land in the money zone, but the wheel holds on and the pointy thingy ends up in the spot where you don't win money. Kind of like in the Wheel of Fortune computer game when it's about to land on 1 million, but then it snaps into the bankrupt zone. So, for scalpers who are trying to make, say, 20 second plays, when something barely misses your take profit and then you get stopped out, on a biological level, your brain is going to be your worst enemy. These near-miss, almost wins are used everywhere at casinos, and it's part of how they manipulate people into continuing to gamble. That's it, but if you want to briefly educate yourself on the structure and on the process of how neurotransmitters work really quickly and easily, I promise I can do it in a way that is much simpler than your high school teacher. Yeah, the one who thought he was the smartest guy in the world and pretended to like you when the principal was in the room. Okay nerds, let's do this. Neurons are the cells in our brain that communicate with each other to make things happen and they use neurotransmitters like dopamine to do this. Neurotransmitters bind to receptors on the dendrites of a neuron. Dendrites are the branch-like structures extending away from the cell body, and their job is to receive messages, aka neurotransmitters, from other neurons, and to allow these messages to travel to the cell body. The axon is the tube that carries the signal from the cell to the axon terminals at the end. Those terminals are connected to the dendrites of other neurons. That's right, neuron with an S at the end. We're talking about multiple neurons with multiple connections. In other words, it's all connected. The synapse is the chemical junction between the axon terminals of one neuron and the dendrites of the next. It is a gap where interactions can occur, and it's not an actual structure. In some ways, it's like the sky, which is the area between the ground and space. It's not really a physical thing that you can touch. It's a gap, and interactions happen there like planes, and birds, or neurotransmitters getting transmitted to other neurons. Yep, that's basically it. So if you want to activate the reward center of my brain and release a bunch of dopamine, leave a comment so I can get one of those sweet, sweet YouTube notifications. Thanks.